Once your add-in has been registered properly, it's time to start adding something useful to it. I'll start off by adding a user control. I'll use this to host all of the content that I want to place on the task pane. A user control is an easy way of manipulating .NET icons. So I'll start off by drawing a couple of buttons, or actually just one big button here. Line it up all nicely. The properties for this button that will make it resize according to the shape of the task pane is anchor. If I add an anchor to the right, now I can re I can change the width of the task pane and the button will resize accordingly. Now I'm going to replace the code with some different code here. First off, we need to import system runtime interop services, but this can be done automatically. Once you've created a class with the appropriate attributes, the IntelliSense will prompt you to add that import. The program ID here should be changed to something unique for each add-in that you create. We will refer to this elsewhere in the program, so I'll copy that to my clipboard for now. Under SW Add-in, we'll need to make some changes to make this useful. So I'll paste in my task pane view, dim task pane view as solidworks.taskpane view, and my user control as the host. These are actually global variables within SW Add-in. They're just in the local variables region because they're local to the SW Add-in module. Under UI methods, we're going to need to add the task pane. So I've pasted in a couple of subroutines here. First off, we create the task pane view. Then we add the control, which is our ID for the task pane host. And then we need to pass in the SW app variable in here. So we create a friend sub get SW app so that we can pass it in from our SW add-in, which is where we've connected to it in the first place. When we connect to SolidWorks, we want to add the task pane. So we call that method that we just created, add task pane. And we'll have to have a corresponding one for disconnect called remove task pane here. Once both of those are added, add task pane will be called when we load the add-in. So now if I run in debug mode, I'll see my task pane and my button click event that I pasted in earlier. <laughs> 